congrats on the win. Um, now you've had some time to digest it. What's your first reaction to the, to the fight itself? That was fun. <laughs> That's it. I just come to scrap, so. Um, I didn't really react yet. Um, I was just reacting in there. I mean, I haven't really settled things. I just, just relieved that I'm here, you know, and the story has just begun. That's it. I see you got a couple of stitches. How bad are the cuts that you suffered? I don't know. They don't feel that bad. I mean, they may look pretty bad, but I mean, they don't feel that bad. So hopefully, hopefully not that long. Did you know going into this that you were going to get into a big brawl back and forth, or did you think it was going to be a bit more comfortable than that? That's exactly how I wanted it to be. <clears throat> I knew if it was like that, I would prevail. Um, I didn't know much about him. I took the fight on Tuesday. I fought two weeks ago in LFA, and um, it was the same thing back then. I made him I made him fight me. I made the last guy fight me, and made this guy fight me. He had he had his moments, but um, you know, I just came out on top. When it went to the judge's decision, were you comfortable <clears throat> that you were going to get the arm raised? Yeah, I was comfortable. I knew that like the the moments that he won, they didn't last that long, and. Um, for the majority of the fight, he couldn't figure out my timing, and he was doing a lot of figuring out. And um, by that time, it was too late because he tried to. He thought he would do something, and boom, I'd hit him. Thought he'd do something, and boom, I'd hit him. And um, I heard him. I heard him more. The times that he hurt me, I wasn't really um, hurt. I was just. I, I kind of took off the, um, took off the pressure. I know I, I let. I gave him too much ground. But when I was coming forward, everything was in my control. So. I knew that I was, and I was going more. I was going forward most of the time, so I knew I was pretty safe. Well, well it was an absolute barn burner of a fight. I mean, uh, there's people online saying it, it's obviously going to be fight of the night. Is this exactly what fans can come to expect from you? Most definitely. Congrats, man. Thank you. I know it was your debut, and you probably wanted it to be a little bit bigger of a spectacle. But was it still special walking in there, even though it was empty and no no fans in there for you? Not really. I just fought in LFA two weeks ago, um, two weeks from yesterday, and it was the same exact thing. I think we had less people, less workers, so I seen even less people. I only had to have one corner that week, and um, this week was, I mean, was a little bit better, a little bit more comfortable. I got a little bit, um, two more corners. Um, UFC takes care, so no, I mean, wasn't wasn't much. You know, they just let me. The UFC, the the thing about the UFC, they did, they just. They give, they give you every little op every opportunity to just do your job, and that was it. That was the only difference. And I know you said you, t you take the fight; it's pretty short notice. When it's something like that, is there a chance to really game plan game plan for an opponent, or is it just a matter of going out there and trying to impose your will? Because the strikes look great, but it definitely looked like wrestling was a big part of what the game plan was to try to take him down and impose your will from on top. Um. No, I just know that I, I wanted to take him down. I wanted to take him down at, at least once to kind of feel feel how his strength. Um, it was easier to take down. He was just a little bit, um, he was good at getting up. He was slippery and um, he knew what to, to get up. But I knew I, I could take him down after I felt that first takedown. Um, and I just, I wrestled with two, two good of a wrestlers every day. So, I mean, I, I, so I wanted to take him down. I mean, I just, I at least want to take somebody, I would take them down throughout the fight just to feel just to feel where they're at that in, you know, in the wrestling department and see how big of an advantage it was there. I know you said you want to kind of make a big splash, you want to Im impress the, the bosses here. How busy are you, you hoping to fight again before the end of the year? And, and how busy are you hoping that 2021 will plan out to be for you? Uh, yeah, I'm hoping to fight by the end of the year. I mean, I work all my life to get here, all my life. Um, you, you guys will see a picture soon. I knew Sean Shelby since I was a little kid. He knew me. He knew I was working to get here, and you, you know, he finally gave me my shot. I knew um, this, this was, you know, this was just in due time. I mean, I knew him since I was a little kid. You um, know, he was in Hawaii, and we, we I spent um, some good time with him. He was, he was a cameraman back then, if I, if I, if I'm not mistaken, and I, that's, I mean, that's how long I knew him. And I mean, I mean, after that, I've been chasing him ever since. And um, he finally gave me my shot. And I hope, you know, I don't think he can be disappointed. But I hope to fight this. I hope to fight again. It's a rough year for everybody. So 
fighting is not, I mean, fighting is like one of the only jobs pretty much anybody can have right now. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to fight again this year. Kai over here. Um, just a single question. Obviously, Hawaiians are known for doing pretty well and putting on exciting fights in the UFC. Uh, did it mean anything to you to pretty much add to that in your UFC debut? Um, I, I don't really think about it like that. I mean, my my team, we're just, we're just known for, um, we don't take back steps. And uh, we bring the pressure. So, I mean... I'm glad that I could live up to the Hawaiian spirit. You know, I'm the fighting Hawaiian, and I'm going to continue to do so. Congrats. Um, on the broadcast, they mentioned uh, Super Brawl a couple of times. Do, do, can you talk about your experiences just um, with Hawaiian MMA? And like, like, how young were you when you were attending those events at Blaisdell? Ever since I was born. <laughs> like, like, when I tell you that I was chasing Sean Shelby my whole life. I was chasing him my whole life. Um, ever since I knew he was the WEC matchmaker and um, the UFC matchmaker, you knew I was coming after him. Um, yeah, I've I've fought in like intermissions of those cards, like sold out, like sold out cards. And if anybody knows Super Brawls, during that time they were like the next, they were they were like they were like right under the UFC. You know, they had they had UFC guys fighting there, so. Um, yeah, the, the, um, I, I was there since, ever since I could remember. Congratulations, sir.